breaking news, the arrest of one of Chicago's longest serving aldermen. We're learning more about the troubling allegations against Ricardo Munoz. CBS 2's Jim Williams joins us live from the police station in North Lawndale where Munoz is being held. Jim? Rob and Eric, Chicago police say Alderman Rick Munoz will remain in custody until he appears in court tomorrow. He faces one count of misdemeanor domestic battery. Alderman Ricardo Munoz was arrested here at his ward office this morning. The police spokesman says the wife of the 53-year-old Munoz said they had an argument on New Year's Eve and that Munoz pushed and struck the victim throughout the body. That's pretty shocking. The reaction here in the 22nd Ward, which Munoz has represented in the city council since 1993. Alrighty. That's good for that one. Munoz has called himself a hands-on alderman. Here he was filling potholes. A member of the city council's progressive caucus, he's been critical of Mayor Emanuel. It's not sufficient. We need more officers in our neighborhoods. We need to figure out how to budget for more police officers to be on the beat in the neighborhoods to prevent this crime. Munoz announced last year he would not run for re-election, that he was moving on to write what he called the next chapter of his life. Immediate plans, he said, would not include a run for mayor. I'm not running for mayor in 2019. That, no, 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 no. 2023? I might, after I get some executive experience under my belt, because I'm going to go run an operation, whether it's at the state level or at the local level. Tonight here in the 22nd Ward, thoughts of Munoz's wife, not his political future. I feel for his wife and I wish her a speedy recovery mentally and physically if necessary. We're told Munoz was hoping for a job in the administration of Governor-elect J.B. Pritzker. A spokesperson for the transition team said Munoz was never considered for a position, nor will he be considered now. Live at the Chicago Police Department's 10th District, Jim Williams, CBS 2 News.